Welcome back to my channel. Before jumping into today's video, I want to mention a few things. First and foremost, thank you so much for the 100 subscribers. We hit 100 subscribers like two months ago and we're on 135 subscribers right now, I guess. Um, I'm really grateful for this, despite the fact that it's not a really big milestone. But however, the fact that I created this channel from scratch and I didn't even think that we'd hit 100. Uh, it means a lot to me, so I'm really grateful. Thank you for everyone who subscribed to me out there. And the second thing that I really want to mention in today's video is that I had a few videos where I had a decent amount of views, but however, my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. So I urge you guys to please subscribe to my goddamn channel. And also do not forget to hit the uh, bell button so that you don't miss out on any of my videos, the newest videos. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how we can put a video footage inside of a phone mockup. Now this technique is heavily used for creating an application teaser or um, showing showcasing the features of an app. So for this, we have a phone and we're going to use that phone mockup with a video footage and I'll be using Photoshop and After Effects for this tutorial. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So the second thing you'd be needing is basically a mock-up of the phone itself where you're going to put your videos inside and everything. So for this one, I got this mock-up from Freepix. I'm going to link down the um, exact file from Freepix down in the description so you can refer to it from there. So over here, as you can see in this document, in this PSD, I have like three different files, which is the background, which has the background on the phone, the object, and then a screen over here. So I'll get rid of the background because we do not need that. Over here, as you can see, we have the screen. So I want to get my rectangle marker tool, right click, and then load selection. What I'll do is, is basically select the screen area over here, as you can see. Now I'm going to delete this layer as well because I do not need that and now I'm going to create a new layer and then I'm going to while this rectangle marker tool is select, so selected I'm going to right click go to fill and I'm going to choose the foreground color which is white so now as you can see that I have this screen itself that it's basically white now why do we need this is basically to act as a safe area when we're putting our video into the uh, inside the phone itself so it does not bleed out of it and then I'll be also labeling them down. I'll be calling it the screen and this one the phone. So once that is done, basically our uh, thing is ready. The PSD file is ready. So we're going to import this into After Effects. So I'll be just saving it. Then I'll be jumping to my After Effects. So once we're in After Effects, we're going to create a new composition, which will be 1920 by 1080. And yeah, I'll keep it frame rate at 68 years for now. And then we're going to come over this side and in the project and then we're going to left click twice and then we're going to select our phone mockup. So once we import it, we're going to see something like this, which is going to ask us for our import kind. Do we want it to import, be imported as a footage composition or composition retain layer sizes? I'm going to go with retain layer sizes because it gives you, the, uh, it retains the sizes of the layers and puts it as it is. And over here in the layer options, I'm going to select editable layer styles. So that gives us the option to not merge the layers, so we keep them separate. And then I'll hit OK. So once that is done, we can see that they have already made a composition over here. We're just going to drag it to this workspace. And we can see that we have something over here. Now we're going to scale our phone down, press S. And then we're going to scale it down to about, I guess around 30 should do it. So once we have our phone over there, I'll also set a background color. So we're gonna go to layer, go to new, add a solid color, and I'll go with white for now. And we're gonna bring it to the background. So once we double click in the phone mockup, we can see that we have our layers here that we had from Photoshop. That's pretty sick. Now we can manipulate the layers as we want to. So we would want to play with the screen. So the next thing we need is the video footage of the screen recording. So I'll get the video footage and import it. And then I'm going to drag it back here. And then we have it over here. So we're going to scale it up. So before getting into any further adjustments, I need to pre I'm going to pre-compose this video and the screen together so that they're inside a different group. 
So I'll select both of these using shift, right click, and then I'm gonna hit pre-compose. And then I'll be again calling it screen. So inside, if you now you go inside the screen composition, you can see that over here we have the screen, uh, screen recording plus the video footage. Uh, I mean the screen recording and the screen. So now what we will be doing is we're going to adjust the size and orientation because as you can see that the mock-up over here that I'm using is a bit to uh, tilted. So we have to adjust it accordingly. So to adjust it, it's quite simple. You just need to make sure you have toggle switch switches or modes to this mode where we can uh, set it to a, as a 3D layer. So we're gonna set it and make it a 3D layer. Then go down over here, transform. Then we have orientation. So we're gonna play with this axis orientation over here. Orientation basically making it 3D allows us to play with all of the axes X, Y, Z. So we're gonna play with this axis and as you can see that you're basically you can manipulate and make it the angle of as same as the phone so the next thing that i'll be doing is i'll just put it to an orientation like this for now because right now what is important as well is to make sure that this phone this screen footage fits inside the screen itself so how do we do that is basically we drag the footage down first and make sure that our psd is in front we're gonna toggle our mode again to switches and switches so we have this and in the mode we can see that we have something called track mat so in track mat we're gonna select alpha mat and once you select alpha mat voila you see that your screen is now the safe area that i was talking before has the video footage and it's not bleeding out or going out of it now you just need to manipulate and control the size of the video footage and the orientation as well bit so i'll look into that for this i guess i'll scale it down to 122 because it's too big right now and for orientation let's let's try to go with 14 and uh the next thing that i just need to do is adjust it accordingly so i'll use my arrow keys as well over here so T take your time with this because this is something I usually take time with. All right, that looks pretty good. I'll just adjust it a little bit up. Make sure it still covers the area. Yes, perfect. So once we have something like this, you can see that it's already inside the phone. Now we can go back to our main composition, which is basically the white background and the phone mock-up. So now having all of this composition makes everything easier so you can just if you have feel like there's a problem with something you can just refer to the uh, groups itself so over here when if we go further down the line we can see that it's showing us the footage of it and everything so that's pretty sick we can now do anything with it basically if you want to have text if you want to showcase one particular feature of the application you can do that you can technically go crazy with this so for now i'll be just like for, to show an example, I'll be doing the basic stuff. We're gonna play with the position of the phone. We're gonna start over here. Uh, this keyframe, I'm going to put probably at one frame. Yeah, over here. So when we go over here, it's going to suddenly come over here, but initially it'll be off the screen. Then we're gonna select both of these keyframes, keyframe assistant, easy ease. So then I'm gonna adjust the graph a bit going to start with a high high speed like from slow to high speed and then slows down so it looks something like this i'll also have my motion blur on just to give it a bit more realistic feeling and as you can see that at the same time the video is running and the phone's moving so that's pretty dope and then you can add do more wild stuff with it probably if you want to add a text over here let's say we add spotify for an example um, I'm using railway and on face is black with text size of 119. So I'll adjust it, vertically adjust it first. And I'm also selecting the color of Spotify, which is the green. And for, uh, we could have it from the first frame after this animation happens. So I'll hit alter and then third brackets will crop the amount from here as you can see. So for this, I'll be working with its position again. So hit P, hit the keyframe, 
and then I'm gonna set it back to two frames and then over here I'll be dragging this text down all the way like that apply motion blur select both of these keyframes do the same thing basically easy ease and then once that is done we can have we have something like this uh, also maybe I'll add a bit of opacity to this like it will be invisible as it comes we have like that. So let's see our end result faster. Alright, so maybe for the text, I'll have the opacity in there. So yeah, it looks something like that. So basically, that is the end goal for this. Now, as you can see, that it comes in and pops out. You can have more text over there talking about the features or whatsoever. So I personally prefer this way when I'm creating my app um, teasers and everything. Um, but you can also try to put uh, the XD elements and try with that. And you can also use this technique for anything such as putting a, um, putting your video footage inside of a uh, laptop or desktop or any other digital devices is the same technique. And this one, for this one, I wanted to go with an angled, angled phone so that it looks a bit more realistic. It's a bit different, but you can also go with um, phones which are like just flat, straight. Um, those are easier to work with. You do not have to play with orientation or anything 3D. So yeah, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Tschüss!